Hey, how's everyone doing there today? This is Cult Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's going to be a haul video. I did uh, receive some stuff through the mail. I got some DVDs, uh, Blu rays, and 4Ks. Some with uh, slip covers, some with not. So I'll be starting off with the non slip editions and then going to the slip cover editions. So uh, I got a pretty good stack here, decent stack. Everyone uh, sit back, relax, and join. Let's get this started. So I'm going to start first off with an eBay pickup. I picked up this from eBay, Fever Lake, a film I have not seen. This is like a mid-90s horror film. You got uh, the late, great Corey Haim, rest in peace. Bo Hopkins, rest in peace. And you got Mario Lopez. <laughs> That's a kind of odd casting there because I don't think I've seen Mario Lopez in a horror film. But uh, yeah, this one intrigued me. I like this kind of summer horror films. Never heard of this one from mid-90s, Fever Lake. Next up, we got a Blu-ray here from Umbrella. This is a Wrong Turn. Um, I did not have these in the collection, so I do enjoy the first two. So I wanted to, to add them in the collection. This is the first one it's from Umbrella. This did have an addition with a, with a slip cover, but I believe it's out of print now and goes for crazy money, so... I'm cool with this this edition right here. Yeah, I gotta revisit this too. I haven't seen these in a while. Wrong turn. Next up, I did pick up the sequel as well. Wrong turn two. Dead end. This is the unrated cut. Uh, I do like this film too. It's a lot of fun. You got a uh, Henry Rollins in it. This one's pretty a uh, gory good time too. So that's a uh, wrong turn two. Dead end. Okay, next up. We got um, another 90s horror right here, late 90s creature. I've never seen this one. It has uh, Greg T. Nelson from Poltergeist and Kim Cattrall, Mannequin, different films. Pretty good cast here. I do like the look of that creature. I've not seen this one either. And it does look like it's a uh, practical effects as well, which is a plus. That's a 1998's creature, like a shark. Half shark, half human creature. Okay, now we're going to get into little rays here I got from Scream Team releasing. These are their new releases. I got Cruel Summer. It's from the makers of Hell's Bells. I like my summer slashers, so this one I had to get. I like these retro type slasher films. Cheesy fun. This is one I'm excited to check out. It's Cruel Summer from Scream Team releasing. And I also did pick up the sequel as well. Um, Cruel Summer 2. They know what he did last summer. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like fun too. This is like kind of like, it, this is independent horror, man. And it's on a budget, but they do. They're hit or miss, but these ones look fun. Slasher, solid practical effects too. So it's Cruel Summer 2. Okay, now we're going to get into some Scream Factory pickups. Uh, I picked up Highwaymen. Highway this is one that looked right up my alley from reading it. But I've never seen the film. Excited to watch this one. It was on my wish list. Highwaymen. And next up we got Private Parts. No, this ain't the <laughs> Howard Stern movie. It's from the horror film from the... 70s i believe yeah 72 yeah this one looked pretty crazy interested in checking it out there's these 70 horror films that are just like it says they're bizarre they're just real odd and i love it i love that the 70s was like that so there's private parts there is alternate art as well this might be the more well-known artwork screen factory putting out some Pretty good stuff here. I wish they this one would have came with a slip. Okay, next up, I got a DVD kind of box set here. I picked up Revenge of the Nerds, Atomic Wedgie Collection. Man, I haven't seen these films in years. I, I grew up on watching these, so I wanted to revisit them. I don't know if I've seen the fourth film. I got Revenge of the Nerds. So I could take them out here come in individual sets these are only on dvd in the set i can find a blu-ray so 
got Revenge of the Nerds 1, Panty, Panty Raid Edition. <laughs> uh, Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise. I remember watching this one. A lot of fun. Uh, Revenge of the Nerds 3, The Next Generation. And then we got Revenge of the Nerds 4, Nerds in Love. <laughs> yeah, these, these are a lot of fun. I grew up on them, so... It's been a long time since I've seen these, so my revisits definitely do. Pretty cool box set too. Got it off a seller that took care of it, even have it has it still in plastic. Box set. Alright, so next up here's a new release Blu-ray. I picked up Renfield. And I had to check out uh, Nicolas Cage's Dracula. It was a must. This is the Dracula sucks edition. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool slip. It's kind of a embossed there, as you can see in shiny. Yeah, I just I want to check this one out. It looks like fun comedy horror stuff. Well, there's a digital code there. First come, first serve for Renfield. You get the Blu-ray and the DVD. Yeah, this this looks promising. Can't wait to check it out. Renfield, a newer horror film now. And next up, we got, with a slip as well, My Bloody Banjo. Um, this is an awesome slip cover. This is like another low-budget horror film. This is number 477 out of 1,000. These are limited to 1,000 with a slip cover. So it act fast if you want the slip. Um, there's alternate art. Kind of like a imaginary friend type horror film. It looks like real on a budget, but it looks like it has real solid gore effects. So, ball in. There's it's re region A, B, or C. My bloody banjo. The company is uh, Refuse Films. I don't know if they're a new company or not, but it also does show that it's coming out with a sequel or something right here. You can see chapter two in the epic. Bloody Banjo Saga, Eating Miss Campbell. So there is like a film connected to it coming out too soon. So it's pretty interesting. That is My Bloody Banjo. Love that slip. See, so now we're going to get into some 4Ks here, guys. I picked up this new film, uh, Adam Driver in 65, The Riders of a Quiet Place. This look, I like my dinosaur film, so. I wanted to check this one out. This is really caught my interest. No alternate art. There is a digital code right there if you guys want it. First come, first serve. Got the 4K and the Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm always up for some dinosaur films. This one, uh, I I do like Adam Driver. I liked him in a. Uh, Dead Don't Die, and even the Star Wars film, he was, he was good in that, so. Excited to check that one out, 65. Here we go with uh, another 4K, Kino Lorber, Night of the Hunter. Now this is a film I've been wanting for years. It has Robert Meacham, Mitchum, can't even talk guys, Shally Winters. Uh, this, this, I heard this film's pretty disturbing. It's from 1955. Kino Lorber is, is becoming one of my favorite companies. They just keep putting out hit after hit, man. And this one, uh, Night of the Hunters, one I'm definitely interested in. It has the tattoos on his love hate. I think I had friends that had that tattoo on them. I think it was pr pretty much probably brought up from this film. But yeah, good, great cast. I heard this film's pretty disturbing, so can't wait to check it out. Night of the Hunter. 4K. Okay, now we're going to get into another 4K here from Kino Lorber. The Longest Yard with Burt Reynolds. I've only seen the Adam Sandler movie, the remake, so I really want to check this out because I like, like I said, I like how the 70s style comes out. They're just, they don't give a shit, man. They'll go all out. <laughs> so this is from 1974. I like these kind of prison films involving sports and stuff. So. This was an instant pickup for me. No alternate art. Burt Reynolds, rest in peace. Get the 4K and Blu-ray. Really interested to see how this uh, 
compares to the remake probably better but i do like adam sandler i'm a fan but time to check out burt reynolds in this one man see how he does it's a uh, longest yard okay and now we got my uh mondo macabro pickups here i picked up the bundle this one's a little enough to cover up there we got ravishing danny like a hitchhiker type of a sleazy film here and what i like about these editions they come with a second film this one has the girl can't stop another second film so yeah interested in these sleazy films i'm always a fan no way to check out these bizarre films from mondo macabre so we got a ravishing ravishing danny and next up we got the broken mirror I'll check if this, I can show the back on these. Some of these you can't. The Ravishing Danny was a... Got to cover that up, but... It was 422 out of 1,200 limited. And this one's okay to show. This one is a Broken Mirror. This one's 463 out of 1,200. So these are limited. The red editions. That's Broken Mirror. This also has a double film. Look unquiet death so there's you're getting your your bang for your buck there man you're getting double films in these so that's definitely worth a pickup really interested in these films i like my mondo macabre oddball type of sleazy films so now we got another one here um fear this is a greek film black and white looks real chilly I'm like a chilling film here this is 434 out of 1200 also limited hmm. and last but not least we got night of the executioner with uh paul nashi um every film of paul nashi that i've picked up from mondo has been excellent sir so i'm really really excited for this one this one's 496 out of 1500 the late great uh paul nashi these have has a 4k transfer Yeah, always, always up for a Paul Nashie film. So now there's Night of the Executioner. So those are my latest pickup, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear your thoughts. Hope everyone's having a great week out there. Stay safe. This is Cult Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Peace.